Hi BVN, I'm Vaughn McMahon, and I'm here to tell you how to use all the great online resources we have available. This is the watchful eye of Canvas. It knows you better than you know yourself, and it peers into your soul. This is for your own good. Anytime Canvas notices things like graded assignments, sneezes, and negative thoughts, it will send an email to your parent. Do not resist. This only serves to further displease Canvas. This is Pearson. Pearson has provided us with a very unique opportunity, whereby instead of doing this, you can do this, this, go over here, do one of these, uh, head on over this way, this, that, this, and bingo! Now, when signing into MathXL, use this Pearson login. Not this Pearson login, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one or these ones. Here we have the library media site. I'm sorry, the, the library media site. And of course, with new systems come new ways of getting things done. For example, whereas with student view to check your grades, you would click on gradebook, with Canvas, you offer a blood sacrifice. Once a hecatomb of goats has been dedicated on a night with a full moon, the pact is sealed and you are provided with your login information. At this point, you go ahead and click grades. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. At this point, you're going to have to... Five, four, three, two... with Felix and it is a hurricane. It is a category two with winds of 105 miles per hour. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hello, BVN. Are you interested in clubs, in true Marxist socialism in the frosty climate of Russia? Well, if so, I got a big surprise for you. Today, we are going to make Blue Valley North's first official Russia club. This also works for a guide if you're not interested in Russia clubs. The first step in making a club is grabbing the sheet that you need to fill out. You grab that at the place that's called Student Services. The first question on the club sheet is, what is the date? You can figure that out by purchasing a calendar and checking said calendar. Do you guys have calendars? Uh, no. I should get some. Next up is the club name. Now this can be tricky, so I'll teach you the secret to making the best club name. I wanted to make a club called Marxist Socialism Club, but that sounds scary. And it's also too broad and not specific enough. So I was like, what's everyone's favorite former communist country? And bam, now you got Russia Club. Next, you gotta make the club description. Basically here, you gotta make a description that describes what your club is all about. For Russia Club, you'll likely put a club that enlightens the working class of Blue Valley North about Russia. We will have fun activities like arts and crafts, building a windmill, and overthrowing the tyrannical bourgeoisie of Blue Valley North. Now you gotta come up with a club sponsor. Make sure they'll be happy with being present at the club every meeting. Find someone who is passionate about your club. Uh, I'm not passionate about Russia Club. I don't want to talk about it. 
have them sign the club paper. Now we have the most pivotal step. You must get the signatures of the people who will show up to your club. If they don't show up to the club, the club will die. So make sure they are passionate about the club by asking them questions. So why do you want to be in Russia Club? I, the reason to join Russia Club is because it's about Russia. Play sports and everything. I mean, I try to get my young fellas that's around me, as you can see, you know, to get him in there. But, you know, little dog, he play football. He play basketball and football. I don't know what he doing. My man RJ behind you right here play football. He play basketball. He don't play nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, cut up. Uh, I don't know what Russia Club is, but doesn't seem too good. Communism. All right, I don't want to join because I'm a busy man. Because uh, Russia, he has always been close to my heart. Congratulations, BVN. We just made a club, and you can too. Looks like not every club is made, but it is always worth trying to get involved in overthrowing the oppressive forces not letting you make your club. my first time to see a football game. Yeah, me too. It's like a lot of people want to grab the ball and they will a bunch of people. <laughs> this is a museum we um, visit in graduation trip and everyone's have to wear a uniform. Students in our upper classes that have the same digit number, last digit number as ours, um, and they, this is our their graduation, and we took photos like that. Um, it's band volunteer. It's from volunteer. Uh, we went to the Truman's library yesterday. Oh. Yeah, and my fa um, my host family took us to the baseball game. It don't rains every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it rain a lot? Does every rain? day. Every day? Yeah. Uh, almost not every day. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in the winter. Yes. And the wind is very cold too. are in the middle of filling out their college applications. Here's some of the advice they want to share to make your lives easier. So how many colleges would you say you've visited so far? I've only visited one. Together we've only visited around four so far. Probably around five. I'd say it's about 20. What advice would you give to kids about like college touring? Visiting campuses is always valuable because if you hate the campus and you don't want to go there, so there's like right, no point exactly. in flying and doing extra work. Take as many notes as you can. Anything that you think sounds important or that you would like to remember, definitely write it down. What advice would you give people um, about like college applications and like getting ready for like standardized testing? Just try to be prepared as early as you can because I'm definitely not. So <laughs> it's very stressful. I would probably advise that um, they get all their standardized testing done before senior year, or by senior year because that just makes life a lot easier. I would say a good rule of thumb is take your first standardized test, like the ACT or SAT, the summer after your sophomore year, just to see and like gauge where you are in terms of your testing ability. Great idea to do is always go like to the website of colleges that you're interested in, and they should have a page that tells you like the application process, right? And then it'll tell you what they require for their application. I think it's always good to look at that, or like sooner, the sooner the better. How has your opinion about like colleges and like your philosophy for them like changed? I used to think that you know it was this huge matter of importance that I choose the exact right college for me. And now I've kind of realized that there are a lot of things that are similar about colleges 
and so going to any one of them will be a good experience and all of these colleges wouldn't like be attracting students if they didn't give a good education. You can get that pretty much anywhere. So I think I've learned that it's not so important where I go, just as long as I'm like happy there. Great news seniors, we have a problem. Underclassmen parking the senior lot. So we went out to see how you felt. So how do you feel about the new senior parking lot? I do not like it. It's not cool for all the seniors that have been here grinding. It is a daily struggle to get a good spot every day. My brother, who's a junior, is taking up senior spots, which is really annoying to me. I hate the senior lot. Stolen right out of my hands. It kind of hurts. Please be respectful to your elders and park where you should park. With so much apparent upset, we went to find out why these changes were made. A student would park in a spot that was not there. It created this ripple effect. It was taking a lot of time away from um, our safety and security officers and personnel that we have here in the building. And, and their primary purpose is not to be parking lot monitors. That's not really why they're here. There is a senior lot, yeah. It's, it's lot B, which um, is the one directly to the west of the main entrance where the statue is. They go and do checks of the parking lot throughout the day on occasion, but um, you know we, we also rely on students. If a student were to come and report that there was someone in that lot that shouldn't be there, uh, we would certainly address it. I do thank thank them because you know unfortunately they're the group that it fell on for this change, um, and so you know we do appreciate their willingness to to go along with what we've put in place um, for this year.